Antimicrobial resistance is a question of generational justice. I illustrate this by the story of my grandmother who, in 1930, just after the birth of her third child, my aunt, uh, was bitten by an insect in a Kent garden, nothing more than that. Within a week, she contracted septicemia and she was dead. The result was that my mother, then aged seven, lived most of her uh, early life without her mother. It was the biggest tragedy of her existence. 81 years later, after that night bite, I was saved after a routine operation that had gone badly wrong. I was the victim of an accident, a medical accident. I got acute septicemia. And one of the things, one of the most important things that saved my life was the antibiotics that they gave me. My grandmother died, I lived. And the question for us now is, what's going to happen to the generations that come after us? We've been the generation that have had the golden medicine. We've been the generation that has benefited from the discovery of, the, of penicillin and the other antibiotics, and they have allowed us to live the kind of lives that we take for granted, lives with a certain amount of risk, lives without the constant possibility of dying from a disease that otherwise, or an infection that otherwise could be curable. The question is whether future generations will live and die like my grandmother did, or will live and survive like I was able to. Now this is one of the reasons I think that what you do, your work, is so incredibly important. Why I not only support it personally, but want to see governments and international agencies support it too. And why I want to offer you every encouragement in your discussions uh, and in the work you have ahead of you.